Hello, I'm Kevin Pomisel with Pomisel Fire Equipment, and I'm here today uh, to go over the Hamburg Fire Truck. Uh, I'm the Freightliner booth for Pierce Manufacturing. Um, Hamburg, Wisconsin is located just northwest of Wausau in Marathon County, so north central Wisconsin. Uh, this is a 2013 Freightliner Pierce Manufacturing truck built in their uh, Pierce Manufacturing Florida division. Um, and uh, here at FDIC to show you the truck. It's a Freightliner four-door, uh, Freightliner M2 106 chassis. Um, it's got all of the current emissions on it with the diesel exhaust fluid and uh, diesel particulate filter. Um, it is a top mount pump panel, and it's got a special feature back here. The cross lays are actually under a seat on the front of the pump panel, so they're very easy to stack. The seat folds up. We got our NFPA required web netting on each side. Uh, so if they're at a long fire, the pump operator can actually sit down for a few minutes and then when they pack the hose, they do not have to crawl up on the truck. They can stay on the ground and pack the hose very, very easily. It is a top mount pump control. We do have our Pierce Husky 3 foam system on here with a 30 gallon foam tank, which also has the ability to draft Class A foam and Class B foam through our foam fill here. And it has the ability to fill the foam tank from the ground, which is a very important feature for the customer. Then they don't have to drag 50 pound foam buckets to the top of the truck and risk injuring anyone. It has a Darley 1500 GPM pump on it um, with a six inch intake each side. We did a custom built heat pan underneath the truck, which is very important to a lot of my customers in northern Wisconsin, because uh, we can raise their ground clearance anywhere from two to maybe four, maybe five inches, depending on exactly how the exhaust is routed underneath the truck. So it gives them a lot more ground clearance, especially as we approach Lake Superior or Lake Michigan, where they get large volumes of snow due to lake effect, like 300 plus inches of snow. That makes a big, big difference to them. Here's our heat pan on the truck, which raises our ground clearance. It's a custom built heat pan out of aluminum. We got a hook on each end to hold the pan in, because it's half that goes out each side of the truck. So if we unhook these, in the summer, they can take the sides out to release the heat, but then in the winter, put them back in, hook these so they can't slide out on the way to a fire. Um, and then it holds the heat in from the exhaust system so that the pump does not freeze. Uh, we have a Kuzma auto eject shoreline connection on the truck with a Kuzma battery charger and built-in air compressor so the truck stays charged and the airline stays charged up when it's in the station. Then the customer elected to put uh, Performance Advantage Company pack tracking on the walls of four of the compartments to help organize the storage of their tools and adapters and fittings and loose items. Um, air bottle storage in each side of the wheel well, so a total of four air bottles on the truck. We matched up a custom flag that they had from a previous truck uh, just to make it uniform for graphics on between their different vehicles. Um, in the rear compartment, we put a vertical divider in uh, with adjustable height shelves so they can have additional storage here. And then their intention here is to put long tools, so shovels, brooms, fire brooms, uh, other very long items which are hard to locate on a truck to have a nice specific spot for them, uh, which didn't take up too much other compartment space, helps them organize again. Then they're not up on top of the truck hard to reach. On, we come around to the back, and a lot of my trucks that are long, I install these Brytax LED marker lights on the lower rear corners. They're very nice, you can see them from the mirror, so when you're backing up, you can see right where the rear corner of the truck is, so that you don't do any body damage if you're backing into anything. One thing that was very important to this customer is they carry their portable water tank on their pumper in lieu of on their tanker. So they wanted it low and easy to access, so we mounted it under the T of the tank on the passenger side. So you just gotta make sure the, the actual tank itself is pushed in good into the frame, and then she slides right in, nice and low and easy access. Um, in the rear compartment, we've got a floor-mounted slide-out tray, cord reel um, for a junction box, and then they're gonna have some of their other loose tools in here. We have a five inch rear discharge on the truck with a five inch valve so they can push large diameter or large volumes of water uh, to other trucks if they're doing mutual aid. And an LED 12 volt scene light at the rear to assist in backing up and seeing off the back of the truck. Under the driver's side or passenger side T of the tank, we stored their ladders for a 24 foot two section and a 14 foot roof. In addition to that, there's actually going to be three pipe pole storage, two in tubes and one for a trough with a D handle in addition to their folding ladder, all at the rear. And then we mounted their bracket for their uh, Blitzfire TFT portable monitor back here, which they're actually gonna pre-connect to the two and a half discharge up there so they can just grab and go when they need it. it makes things quicker and easier for them. Um, as we rotate it to the passenger side of the truck, we have some more adjustable shelves, another floor mounted slide out tray for a positive pressure fan and some other big items which are heavy, make them easier to get off the truck. More pack tracking again, try to make things easier 
uh, more organized on the truck, easier to find. Also allows them to mount some things and highlight them in tape. So after a fire, if it's not on the board, they know it's missing. They can go see if it's left in the fire scene or maybe if one of the neighbors tried to borrow it on them. Um, again, in the front compartment, more pack tracking, more adjustable shelves. Um, we have our Pierce swing handle drain valves on the truck. That was important to them. Uh, their previous trucks have some of the quarter turn drain valves on, which are very hard to open and close when you have kind of frozen hands, really, really cold hands. These are much easier to open and close. That was important to the customer. Um, again, our top mount control, got our four door. Uh, if we swivel up, you can see we've got two telescoping lights on each side of the pump panel. Uh, those are connected to a Harrison generator, which is in the front of the hose bed next to the water dome and foam dome up on top of the truck. So they have a remote start at the pump panel, and they can turn those lights on very quickly. That's also how they power the cord reel in the rear. As we come up to the front of the truck, we've got air horns, which they use to help move people out of the way. They also use it. There's a switch at the pump panel for the air horns in addition to the cab to help alert um, if there's a, a bad incident. They need to get the firefighters away from the building. They can use the air horns. And a very important feature on the front bumper was our uh, pre-connect with the suction hose and the tray. So when they get to a scene, they can drop the portable tank, swivel this out, drop it right in. This is a pre-prime line, so they can prime it, prime it right from the pump panel separately while they're pumping off the onboard tank, and then just easily transition over from the onboard tank to the portable tank. And this is five inch all the way to the front of the truck, so they'll be able to get about 800 to 850 gallons per minute of drafting out of this line. And they got a center hose tray underneath here to store hose for uh, quick attack fires. If they got a car fire or a grass fire, they can get to it from there without having to pull the crossways. And then they asked us at kind of the last minute, and we thought it'd be very neat. We installed their customer supplied federal siren on the front bumper for them. Um, they had it in storage in the station, and we put it on, and it turned out very nice on the new truck. Um, and a couple other quick features on the truck that we did on the front we have a Fire Research Evolution LED brow light which is 12 volts, so they can flip that on any time. Gives them very good front seam for the front suction. And then a special request for this customer is a bug shield on the front of the truck. It's something they've done on all of their trucks. We're gonna put some graphics on that uh, as soon as the truck gets home. Um, and it'll look very, very nice. So we appreciate your time and thank you very much.